Hello friends, welcome to our channel Brain Explorers, where we share all kinds of brain boosters, teasers, puzzles, riddles, and stumping questions. Here is our previous question. There will be a car race between car A and B. It is known that car A will move with some average velocity between 20 meter per second to 40 meter per second, and car B will move with some average velocity between 30 meter per second to 50 meter per second. Find the probabilities of their winnings. Here, average speed of both the cars are given. Here, some cases are possible in which car B will win, but some cases are also possible for car A to win. So, we have to calculate the probabilities of winnings of each car. If you have not tried this question yet, you can pause the video for more time. So here is the solution. Let's divide the speed range in n equal intervals for each car and consider n tends to infinity. With this assumption, we get only one speed in one interval. That is, suppose in any interval, 30.1 meter per second is the speed it consists. Then 30.1001 or even small speed will li not lie in this interval. This interval will consist only one speed in it. Similarly, if any interval is con con uh, consisting 40 meter per second, then even 39.999 meter per second will lie in some other interval, not in that interval. Or we have supposed that one interval consists only a point of speed. Now, since uh, both the intervals are equal or 40 minus 20 is also equal to 20 and 50 minus 30 is also equal to 20. So, we can divide both in equal number of intervals. Car A and B both can have any average velocity from an interval. Now, we have to calculate the total number of outcomes. It is similar to that of uh, two dice thrown simultaneously. since uh, outcomes of both are 6 and 6 hence with the help of same example here we have um, calculated our total number of outcomes as n multiplied by n and that is n square now we have to calculate the favorable number of outcomes for car a car a cannot win if its average velocity is below 30 meter per second because if average velocity of car a is below 30 meter per second then there is no possible velocity for car B such that car A can win. Now let us suppose that uh, average velocity of car A is somewhere between 30 to 40. Then there are only a finite number of intervals. If it is A interval more than 30 meter per second, then only A intervals are possible for car B such that car A can win. Because for the winning of car A, the speed of car B should be less than the speed of car A. And B cannot acquire any speed below 30 meter per second. And it should not acquire any speed uh, more than A. And there is no speeds other than the number of intervals. Hence only A cases are possible such that car A can win if it is in the interval if it is in the eighth interval after 30 meter per second so if car a is moving with 30 meter per second then there is no chance that a can win if it is in the first interval after 30 meter per second then only one case is possible and if it is in the second interval after 30 meter per second then only two cases are possible if it is in the third interval then three fourth interval then four and so on so we can calculate the total number of cases by adding all these that is 1 plus 2 plus 3 up to n by 2 and we get it equal to n by 4 bracket n by 2 plus 1. Now probability of car A to win is equal to limit n tends to infinity n by 4 bracket n by 2 plus 1 upon n square and that is equal to 1 by 8.
and with its help we, we can calculate the probability of curve B to win equal to 1 minus 1 by 8 is equal to 7 by 8 and that's our solution. Let's move towards another question. Find the ratio of areas of shaded and unshaded region in the following figure. Here we have an isosceles triangle and a circle is inscribed in it which is touching all three sides of the triangle. And another circle is drawn which is touching the two sides of the triangle and uh, previous circle. And similarly many circles are drawn up to infinite. Equal angles of the triangle are given as theta. Circles are shaded here and uh, all other area is unshaded. We have to find the ratio of areas of shaded and unshaded region. Try this question and comment as the solution and if you have any question like this send us on the gmail give it in the description box. Don't forget to like and share our video and for more such videos subscribe to our channel Brain Exploders. Thanks for